Today is August the 11th, 2024. It's the peak of the Persia meteor shower. So let's go watch a meteor shower. And you know what? It's a G2 magnetic storm. So I may even see an aurora with the meteor shower. How cool would that be? Hello and welcome to the program, Sula's Big Adventures with me, Sula. In this episode, I'm gonna show you what I saw at the Persia Meteor Shower in 2024. There's a quarter moon, but it's gonna set around midnight. And because we're gonna pass through the majority of the debris from the comet for this meteor shower during the day, it actually will peak on two nights. The we hours of the morning of August 12th and the wee morning hours of August 13th. So after midnight, today's the 11th, it'll be the 12th, and it'll be peaking around 2 a.m. till sunrise. And then if it's uh, still clear tomorrow night, I'll try again. So I'm gonna have to stay up very late. So I'll be back and I'll show you what I saw. And by the way, the Persia meteor shower is actually active from July to September 1st. So you can see meteors from this comet's debris. During that time, it's just that it peaks on the night of August 11th into August 12th. And indeed, on July the 30th, 2024, I saw my first ever bolide. It was incredible. It took my breath away. And I was faced toward Perseus and it was incredible. So who knows what you see when you go out to a dark sky site. The moon is at one quarter phase tonight and will set around midnight. And it's very low in the sky because of the lunar standstill. So I got my telescope out because it's been raining and cloudy for a whole week. I thought I'd get a little stargazing in before the moon set and it's the optimal time to watch the meteor shower. Earlier I said I thought it'd be really cool if there was an aurora at the same time as the meteor shower, but I'm having to rethink that because I walked outside and I thought, my goodness, it's so bright out here and I can't blame it on the light pollution from town because it's coming from the north. <laughs> I took an SQM and it wasn't even 20, which is pathetic. <laughs> And so I took a picture of the sky because it's so bright to the north and that's not natural. There's nothing over there. It, it's just wilderness. It's a national forest. Well, there's an aurora going on. It's green and pink. It's very pretty in the picture, but all I can see is that it just looks incredibly bright over there. So we'll see how the meteor shower goes. I've only seen a couple so far, but it's not even midnight yet, and it's not gonna peak until 2 a.m. So we'll see how it goes, but I just wanted to give you an update. So there's Cassiopeia, and as you can see, it's quite green. It is quite bright in that direction. Before I put my telescope away, I thought I'd look at Saturn since it just rose. Granted, it's not that high in the sky, but <laughs> frankly, it looks terrible. The seeing is terrible. The transparency is terrible. Uh, I can only see one of its moons, Titan. Can't make out much detail on Saturn. And the rings are nearly edge on. I think they'll be edge on next year. So I think that's it for using the telescope this evening. Time to go look for some meteors in the Perseid meteor shower. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. I was planning to look at a meteor shower, but look at this aurora. Holy cow. This is in Montana at 45 degrees latitude. Wow. This is so beautiful. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Wow. This aurora is really something.
I don't know what to do. I was going to go drive to something with a more interesting foreground because my direction north is just these Douglas fir trees. But now I don't want to leave. Look at this. How pretty. August the 11th during the day I went out and searched for a scenic spot as my foreground for my planned time lapse of the Persia meteor shower and I found a very scenic spot because I know that my view from my driveway at my house to the northeast is very boring <laughs> it's just some Douglas fir treetops but when I walked outside <laughs> After midnight on the 11th and then the 12th, which was the peak night of the Persia meteor shower, and I saw that there was an aurora borealis taking effect, I didn't know how long it would last, so I decided to just stay in my driveway. So sorry for the boring <laughs> foreground. It's just some Douglas fir treetops, but the main thing is all those meteors <laughs> and the bolide. So enjoy. Hello again. It's August the 12th, 2024. Well, officially the 13th, because it's after midnight. And I was hoping to get a second night of Persia meteor shower action because this year there were two peak nights. But unfortunately, it's quite cloudy and windy. And in fact, earlier today, there was a horrific hailstorm. And every time I look at the weather, it says something different. And so, I think I'll just be content with what I saw last night, which was sublime. I have never in my life seen a meteor shower in an aurora borealis. Well, in fact, I've only seen an aurora a few times, and the first time was this year. So, wow, it was incredible. And I saw my second bolide. I saw a fireball. It was brighter than Venus and Jupiter combined, and it exploded before my very eyes. And not only that, but I captured it with my camera. So I'll show you that. I'll show you my time lapses. I'll show you my pictures. I'll show you what I saw. It was incredible, and I'll be content with that. So I hope you enjoy it. And so that's it for now. I'll see y'all soon. So long till next time. Sula signing off. <laughs>